very, very wonderful. Good luck with... Uh, with <laughs> Being a naughty girl. Yeah, and work on that <laughs> distance. Man, I reckon yeah. you could get two metres. Yeah, I know. How disappointing. <laughs> I know. Get a lighter dildo. Get a carbon fibre <laughs> dildo and you'll fucking be shooting that thing across the, That's across true. the room. That's true. Well, usually people aren't even that far away. They're only about that far away, so I'm actually really good at aiming. Well, I just aim to power. where they are. <laughs> oh, I do. Knock usually usually it does. I've, had, I've clocked some guy in the eye once. It was hilarious. <laughs> I actually... I remember, and I'll have to, I'll have to fucking delete this out as well. That's good. But I remember um, a friend of mine, I forget what birthday it was. It must have been his like 30th or something yeah. like that. And he got this stripper and, oh no, that's right. It was his fucking stepson's birthday. It was yeah. his 18th. So, and we were around 30. <laughs> was, yeah. He got this stripper and she was fucking violent, man. She like... Well, they can be, man. Oh, man. She like gave him a wedgie and ripped his fucking See, underwear and See, it's so fucking and... annoying because there's so many strippers that do the wrong thing. Not that it is wrong. Like there is dominatrix shows. And if you get yeah. booked for a dominatrix show, you'll be doing that. Yeah. Like stuff like that. I personally don't rip clothes. Yeah. But you can. But there's so many people that just do fucked up shit they weren't meant to do. Yeah. And then everyone thinks they're all like that. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like, well, I've seen no. that a couple of times. Like, that is common because part of a, a show is definitely the dominatrix. It's one of the biggest yeah. selling shows. Really? Where you fuck up the buck for, you know. Yeah, true. It's a big thing. Yeah. But a lot of people do, I think a lot of strippers might do when they're not meant to. Not so much in Adelaide, though. Honestly, I, I know all put the strippers a dildo here. Dildo in his mouth, and then was like riding the dildo, but she was like fucking slapping that booty booty on his head. And no, well, you know, I'm smart. You know, I have like a strap on dildo I put on their head, like it's elastic, so and it's all cushiony, so I can bounce on that fucker, and it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Like a like a minor strap. Yeah, it's so funny. It goes on their mouth, and then everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's so hilarious!" It's just like a. A, a, a dick on their head like on their <laughs> mouth and then I just get them to fuck me with it that's great it's well because because you know I got a bit of a booty um, when I used to put the dildo in their mouth I didn't want to break their teeth so well, that's I that's um, what we said about Damo like he's no like, I, I, he's I, like, I do it the smart that way hurt no me. <laughs> it was terrible should have called me I would have fucking had my strap on I would have rode his face and you'd be like oh, this is nice and soft nice cushion <laughs> this is brilliant because it, it does it was it's quite it's like padded over the mouth well that's yeah that's so when you're good, fucking it um, they're just getting like my ass in their face, so which is does not a dildo complaining. wear out then? Um, of course, like I'm always buying new dildos. Um, yeah. but when you're doing a show, a show says 25 minutes to 35 minutes. Um, the dildoing part of it's not the whole show, and I have quite a few dildos, so you're only using them each like a minute at a time or whatever, oh. or a few minutes at the most. So they're not they're not really getting like ridiculously used. Um, and as long as you take care of them, you can keep them for longer. <laughs> so there's not like this, just a tray of worn out dildos. No, like God, a, no. Oh, fuck, I've gone through another one. No, this I'm crazy. super, I'm super, super like, um, always having the best stuff, the best quality. And, um, generally just, they might get broken when I fling them across the room. Yeah. Um, if, when the guys drop them so much, they are the ones that usually just get, cause they have like a thing at the bottom usually breaks. Yeah. Um, but other than that, they usually last a little while. I just <laughs> replace them when I've had them for too long, usually. <laughs> yeah true true yeah so have yeah. you got a favorite though oh i do it's just like really it's really nice really nice shaft nice big bulbous bottom <laughs> it's like purple and everyone's like oh it's that they just think it's a big black one it's the purple monster yeah exactly everyone just says it's black i'm like does it look black it's not that big but it's it's big enough it's imp- it's impressive enough it's impressive enough it's impressive enough does everyone ask for like the biggest like holy shit can you get that well gen- well yeah which i generally don't like to put anything too big in there it's just not comfortable yeah um so i try to have impressive sizes but nothing that's too wild <laughs> generally guys they're just happy to see you you putting stuff in there they're like whatever you <laughs> do and i'm happy <laughs> oh man as long as it's anything in there it doesn't really fucking matter they're pretty happy they're pretty unless it's too small if it's too small they'll be like come on what is this yeah true and sometimes if, if has um, that ever happened before Oh, well, usually I do a progression. I'll start with a smaller one yeah. and then I go up because, you know, if I try to go the bigger one, it won't go in. Yeah, right. So I've actually got to do a progression yeah, yeah. Um, to work myself up. The guys at first would be like, you know, oh, bigger, but generally they know bigger's coming. Like, they're yeah. not idiots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're like, it's, it's we the see that. <laughs> well, they can see the big bag and, well, I, ha- I have a lot more dealers than most girls, so they can see my big bag and they see me pulling dicks out of it. They're like, there's more dicks in there. <laughs> There's, there's definitely more in there. That bag's too big to just be holding so that. So you got, like a cricket bag? I've got one bag. It's quite big. It's it's quite big, about that big. It's funny. I'm um, like, have you I got have a like cricket s- bag? And you're like, yeah, it's a bit, that's a typical trust me, guy for, thing, isn't it? No, trust <laughs> me. For this bag, it's actually quite big. Really? Um, I have like 
yeah, about seven dildos in one side. I have a bunch of anal toys in a different section. And then my um, cool little trick trick stuff in another side. And then I have another bag for um, just some other stuff during the show, the novelty stuff that you do. And have you got the like specific, like this is the anal stuff, this is the vaginal stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the bouncing on the buck's head. <laughs> absolutely. I have, it's all separate sections. Or when I'm with my um, girlfriend, we do lesbian shows, I have like a section... Um, for my strap on and the double ender and stuff yeah. like that, so it's all sectioned out. Okay, Has its own little home. Yeah. Hell. <laughs> so you learn something new every day. Yes, yes. It's How to be OCD all... with your uh, sex toys. Yes, well, exactly. It's all about hygiene and organised. I can't be in the middle of a show being like, "Where is that dick? I need to find it." I've lost my dick. I've lost my fucking final dildo. This sucks. <laughs> and everyone's going, "That's not big enough." Exactly. No. So it's it's actually all very organised. Mine, mine's very organised. <laughs> but not as many girls have as many dicks as I do in my bag. No? I have quite a few. <laughs> Maybe that should be your catch line. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sophie Grace, I've got more dicks in my bag than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's the other thing I've seen. So yeah. that's... Um, what's your girlfriend's name? Uh, Miley Ryan. Yeah, so she always puts up on her, on her Instagram about... Vote for me in these sex yeah, awards. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's an award thing going on at the moment. I'm just too, I'm too busy. I can't be bothered entering. It's just too time consuming. Um, but yeah, I do lesbian shows with her. She's really awesome. She's one of um, Adelaide's other strippers. Um, we're a really great, really great team. So, is she going to win? Oh, I'm not. Well, I don't know. I'm what not. I'm win? not. I'm not a psychic. No, I think it's it's a big competition where like I think like Australia wide yeah. um, hates people enter like porn stars and I think you just win awards like okay. you just get like um, best um, you know escorts best GFE yeah, service yeah. or best stripper or blah 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 it's it's honestly more of a popularity contest in my opinion yeah um, because the people that are voting well no offence they haven't met you necessarily Ooh, they haven't yeah. seen you so to me entering was a little bit silly because I'm kind of like well well, it's not my clients voting because I can't, you know, they're just yeah. discreet. They're not going to be all on most of mine online. Yeah. And, and people at parties, you know, they're married. They're bucks They're not going to be like, oh, hey, babe, you know, we've just had this newborn. We've just got married. I'm just going to go, you know, vote for that stripper I've seen, you know, two weeks ago that I didn't tell you I had at the bucks party. <laughs> you know, so it's to me, it's not really authentic voting. Yeah. Um, although Miley Ryan is very well known and very established. So I feel like she would have a lot of authentic um, votes because you know people have seen her and stuff so that yeah. you know of course there's authentic votes too but um unless you have a massive following i find it hard because a lot of it is just popularity online yeah and because yeah. i you know i was shut down on instagram my following's not overly huge yeah i just know that i'm a popular stripper i'm a popular escort as in people that know me i give a good service have a good time but all that kind of stuff is just pointless to me. So you're not in it for the kudos. You're not no, in it for the oh, absolutely. Could not care less. If, if my business like is going trophy? well. Like, a, like an Oscar. As much as that would be awesome, I would like a dildo trophy. But so no, I have no idea. Dude, sell them dildo trophies. I think it's more just status. I know, hey. Yeah. I think it's just a status thing. Like I said. And if you do sell them dildo trophies, I want a cut. I want a cut of the dildo <laughs> okay, trophy money. Okay, I'll do this for you. <laughs> yes. yes. Imagine going to a trophy store. It's like, all right, man, I've got this... <laughs> This weird question. Can you make me up some little plastic golden dildos? Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. I know you've got all the tennis players and the fucking netball players <laughs> and the footy players. Have you got just the big cock? I'm sure they would do that. There'd be a market for that. Like, because the hen, sure hens parties and stuff, they have funny stuff like that, you know, all yeah. the silly stuff. Yeah, dick penis shape. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Penis shaped this, penis shaped that. It's funny that there are all those things for, um, uh, for like hens nights and buck shows and stuff like that. Yet, then as soon as we're outside that environment, it's like, oh my god, I can't believe it. That guy just put sent me a dick pic. That yeah, guy that's just true. fucking or like <laughs> that chick's wearing a short that's too uh, wearing a skirt that's too short out. Yeah, in there's public. so many. Like, it's so much. Oh, it, it is all over the shop. Like, there's always blurred lines and all that kind of stuff. It's just um, I think you know we'll see where we are in ten years time, twenty years time, and so on. Yeah. See if it um, hopefully it goes the more sexually open minded. Um, rather than the other way. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. I think I think there's a, a place and time for everything. You know, you can't just, as much as I like being naked, I can't just go out and run to more and be like, you know what, I want to be naked and I can be. And you, unless you you're, know, um, what's his name? Johnny. <laughs> yeah, 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 the, yeah. Um, I've seen him. Yeah, he's so funny. His outfits, he's always... He's hilarious. But he's wearing clothes at least. He's not fully naked. 
Not fully naked, but you know, <laughs> it's, verg- it's verging on not appropriate. But <laughs> he's, he's mankini. Yeah, he's Man pretty funny. I said he was a sexpo. <laughs> I saw pictures of him. Yeah, yeah, he was a sexpo. It was so funny. I think he made the paper from being at sexpo as well. I think he did. Well, so many people were getting photos with him. I ne- I never even heard of him until sexpo. Really? They were like, oh, he's. Always walking around Adelaide in weird stuff. We thought he was crazy, but he's just like eccentric. I remember when I was a teenager, he used to, every oh, really? every weekend, he used to be walking up and down the oh, mall. <laughs> and he'd be, he always used to wear, he'd either have no no shirt, I think footy shorts or something, or just like like Speedos and gumboots. And he'd just be <laughs> fucking cruising the fucking up and down the mall. Go and for like, it, mate. The fuck is this guy doing? Like, what? And, you know, when you're young, free with you first his body. see that, you're just like, you fucking weirdo man stay yeah, away from that yeah. guy <laughs> and then after years it's like hey man there's that dude again yeah I exactly think he did an ad or something i think with, he um, um just i think he like maybe he likes the attention but yeah go on i think he did an ad with like fitzy from nova well good see it's fucking oh, working out for him. him yeah yeah. like I see brilliant. i think it's great what he's doing like it's definitely getting him out there like getting him it's made money I would, obviously i would love to do an interview with that guy <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that would be awesome. Go to like, can you please um, wear the pink speedos for me? Yeah, you wear whatever you want, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to know the mankini. You have to tell him if he does it. He's got to wear I the mankini. I think that's his trademark now. The mankini. He will. He'll probably will wear that because you'll be able to see it. It will look very glamorous. <laughs> see his like little cleavage and stuff. It'll be it'll be hot as. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop recording this.